In this video, we're going to do some more user submitted masks. These came from GRW110 on Reddit, and he sent me an amazing collection of masks, and I've been looking forward to getting to them for a long time. Uh, we're going to do some bifolds, um, as well as a CAN99 uh, trifold mask and see how they work. Now, a little warning ahead of time. Uh, bifold masks, small bifold masks, aren't the ones that fit me the best necessarily, so I don't know how these are going to work because they're kind of short and I generally like uh, more under the chin, but we will also use Fix the Mask to see how they filter uh, as well as how they fit without that. Now, a quick recap on mask fit testing. Uh, I have put a port, a little metal flange in each of these masks ahead of time. We're going to connect this mask fit testing machine and it's going to sample air from inside the mask and air from outside the mask and compare the two. And that will tell us how much cleaner the air is inside the mask. And we're gonna call that the fit factor. So if there's a concentration of particles of say 1000 outside the mask and 100 inside the mask, that would give us a fit factor of 10. Uh, what we're looking for generally is a fit factor of 100, uh, a leak of 1% uh, or less. But heads up, I'm using a test like Aaron Collins does that um, is not meant for N95, so we might get slightly lower scores, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the masks are bad, it's just the way that particular test works. We have a mask that's kind of a, an odd one, because this is a KF94. That's the Korean standard that is so good and has that great filtration material, but it is a bifold, which we normally associate with KN95s, uh, which is the standard in China, and it's also pretty small, and it's made by 3M. Well, who knew that uh, 3M makes KF94s, but they're not distributed here in the US, which is why it's so amazing that uh, GRW110 sent them to me, and now I get a chance to give them a try. So as with all bifolds, please uh, take this little peak here and flatten it out before you put the mask on, because otherwise you get a little bit of air just going through that little peak that can't conform to your nose. I'll take a look at it in the uh, overhead camera. Um, I cannot get that peak out with just my fingertips. That is just too solid. That, that is a design flaw right there. Um, and uh, I, I think that is a huge issue. Okay, so even with a pair of pliers, I could only get it to be uh, so flat, but the regular users aren't going to get an anvil out and hammer it into complete flatness. So we're going to go ahead and test it the way it is. Uh, and we're going to use the behind the head ear hook that they come with. Okay, in spite of being too small for me, it fits a little better than I thought it would. Um, it's uncomfortable with the nose. It doesn't really have enough room for a big uh, nose like I've got. Uh, and it's also got mask collapse, which I'm not a big fan of. But um, we're going to go ahead and give this a try after we purge the air out of it. I'm going to say that... Um, For me, this is an uncomfortable mask, and that, that bend is part of the discomfort. It is, it is um, pushing into my nose in an uncomfortable fashion. Uh, I don't know why 3M doesn't bend these around a mandrel to give them a shallower uh, curve. Uh, it's a huge design defect. All right, we've given the air outside uh, a chance to perch, and now we're going to go ahead and run a fit test. Okay, uh, 90. That is... Um, Better than I expected, because it doesn't feel like it fits great, but um, that's actually a better score than I would expect. I'm using an N100, N99 test, uh, not the uh, N95 test, so it measures filter penetration as well as leak bypass, but KF94s have such great filters, the, the score, the percentage that's below 100 in the fit factor is probably leakage. Um, we're going to do a fix the mask to see if we can trace it down. To try to identify whether the uh, fit factor score of 90 was because of filter penetration or leakage, I've got this Fix the Mask mask fitter on to try to prevent as much leakage as possible and test the mask again. Um, 85. Okay, so I was not able to improve my fit with Fix the Mask. Uh, I got a fit factor of 85. Um, this mask could fit other people really well. Um, with my high nose bridge and my big nose, this mask is... Uh, way too short and too small for uh, what I need, but it could be a good fit for you. A lot of people really like them. Okay, so next up is going to be a uh, Champak PC52OL, 
going to take a look at this guy. This is another vertical bifold mask. Um, it is similar to the KF94, but it's a bit deeper in the shape. It's got a bit of a, a nose foam inside here. Uh, the nose wire is on top, and this uh, encased nose foam here. And we have, instead of a behind the neck strap, we've got a uh, individually adjustable straps, but they do pull through, which is not my favorite method um, because these straps tend to get out of balance, at least on me. Now, one nice thing about the Cham Pack, um, they did not have that really sharp angle in the nose wire. Um, it's not, I don't have to flatten it. it, it's just fine. This fits a lot better in terms of seal, at least it feels like it does, but the mask is too short. I can't really even talk in it because of, uh, of how short it is, but it does seal better under the chin because it goes further back. Okay, 93, actually a similar score um, to the uh, 3M, but I feel like it fits a lot better. Even if my score is not better, it's a more comfortable mask for me, uh, and it just feels like it has more potential to fit well. Uh, next up, we've got this Draeger uh, N95. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of style of strap, but uh, we're going to find out how that works. And also, it does have that same sort of metal uh, at the top that when I bend it, Try and flatten it, it leaves this little gap here. That's just a bad uh, manufacturing defect. That, that shouldn't work that way. Uh, we, we shouldn't have to flatten these the way we do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a test. Okay, so the nose wire is a solid piece of metal, but I'm not really being wowed by it. Um, uh, I can feel a leak right here. Uh, when I press the nose wire in, uh, it doesn't stay down and it goes back up. So that this mask is not going to work for me, but if you've got a lower nose bridge, maybe. Uh, 14, not unexpected. Uh, I can feel the leak. Um, this might fit you well, but it's not a good fit for me. Um, my high nose bridge is a challenge for these nose wires, but it works great with three MRs, so it is possible to fit me. Uh, this just isn't the right one. It, it actually fits under the chin pretty well, it, but it leaks right here, which is common for a lot of masks. Um, so it actually, uh, it fits a little better than I thought it would for a bifold. Uh, last up is this Can 99 mask, and we're going to see how well it works. So uh, since the 3M Aura works so well on me, let's take a look at how these two compare. Pretty similar in the, uh, the height of the mask. There is no nose, fire, nose wire on the Canada mask. However, this is an ear loop mask, uh, and those generally don't fit me as well, but we're going to find out. This has uh, got a lot of promise. It does have a uh, solid metal nose wire, but it is a thin piece of metal. So it's similar to what we had in, in the, um, the Draeger. Okay, I can tell this mask is not going to work for me because it's just, there's not enough tension. I can feel it, it loose just around the, the bottom. And when I exhale, it, it pushes away from my face. Um, so let's give it a test. Okay, 3.9, that's a complete failure. Um, this mask, the ear loops, the unadjustable ear loops are just not acceptable. Uh, they don't hold the mask on tight enough. Uh, the mask is actually just a little bit too big for me. Plenty of room for my nose, so it was comfortable, but it's, it's barely better than a surgical mask. This is disappointing. At the very least, they need to make the ear loops adjustable. Um, but uh, I, I don't know if it'll fit you better. It might, but... Um, I think you should probably stick to a head, head, uh, headband mask if you can. Uh, even hacking a 3M Aura uh, to have ear loops is going to give you a better, or at least gives me a better result than, than this will. So overall, for me, the most impressive one today is going to be this uh, Cham Pack. Uh, a little too small for me, but it felt good. I like that the nose wire wasn't sharply creased at the top. Um, and you can adjust the uh, top and the bottom uh, straps separately, even though they are shared. Um, I think this design has a lot of promise. I'd like to fit test this on some people I know who have smaller faces.